Hey guys, welcome to the video today. I'm gonna be messing around a little bit on spin tires and see what we can get into for next 15 20 minutes. But here we go. As you can see, I have one of the mods that I used to use, usually use. And I have this big guy on the back of it. Which, we're going to see what we can do with this flat bed. Okay, I got some, some fuel on it here. We don't flip it before we start. Down the road, turn around. And we're taking us drive this thing as far as we can. Then we'll switch over to the other truck I got there and so we can't find some places to put it put it through its paces a little bit. I was gonna use another map, but the map I wanted to use wouldn't load. So we're stuck with this map. Which for every mod that I have installed, I will put in the description. I think when we unload it, load it to get fuel here, and I might just uh, start driving in. Pull this a little here out of the way. Oh, I'm back. It's kind of, kind of heavy. All right, we'll turn this truck off. Change truck. Get in this one. Back up again. Whoops. Always real good to do. First thing I do with it is smack telephone pole. It does have a little bit of a funny noise when like when you start to go with it, it sounds like something clicking and stuff. But it is a pretty good mod, though. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Before even like right at the garage too, so 
we'll just switch back here. I'll show you what we what you can change and what you can't change and stuff. Highway wheels on it were just just like the ones that are on the Kamaz, which I like <clears throat> these ones a little better. You got the utility trailer, the uh, garage cart, uh, cistern trailer, medium log trailer, rock utility, which is installed now. Uh, pretty much how it is when you download it uh, right there. But uh, you got to uh, that there. You Backup wheel on there, and like your basic stuff, your carriage, your log car, your <clears throat> fuel that go, fuel tra trailer that goes on the truck itself, and beacons on it for the red lights, uh, tractor utility attachment, just odds and ends of stuff. One thing I did notice about this truck, turning ain't very good. Turns kind of slow. That and with all this other stuff on there, it is kind of top heavy. interior view oh, it, just, it does work a little bit a little blurry Cabin body does move quite a bit. If you're actually being in low, it actually moves kind of quick. Being in low. As far as like mud and everything, it pretty much goes right through it. I know it's been a few days since I've put up a video, but hey, when life intervenes, you gotta pay more attention to life and other important things. But I got some more videos coming up from. Forza 6, and uh, me and a couple other guys are gonna try to do some more stuff on here on my live stream. There's just like so much stuff going on right now. We got a we got a bunch of other stuff going on at the moment. little faster.
make it out here to the damn road. Seems like every which way I go, I get stuck. I'm not stuck, but I just get blocked by trees. Or big boulders. One downfall that kind of tears me from using it all the time is exact is is how slow it actually turns. I think your turning tires ain't got the quickness of them like you would actually have in on some other quality mods. Go pretty good too. I mean, it pretty quick. Like I said steering gets is the biggest downfall of it. And I know a couple guys that could probably tell me how to change that. By going in and tweaking some things on it. Just might have to do that sometime. No, 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 no. Okay, then. My other truck at? We're way over there. So I'll get to this truck here. And then... Make our way over there. Sounds like a plane. Steering on this one is pretty quick, it's nice responsive. It actually even recenters itself. The person that made this mod, mod is uh, Brute Terror. He's a by far an excellent mod maker. I actually have a lot of his stuff downloaded. Should have made a turn back there, but maybe we can cut through here. Right, we're told, like, we'll grab a little ways. Hmm. 
Okay. Telephone pole just come out of nowhere. Yeah, if you, if you like what you can see, be sure to like the video. Uh, the more likes I get on certain things for the videos and stuff like that, I'll base that on what kind of content the ends are liking and everything like that. So, more, something that has a lot of likes on it, I'm going to continue to do something like that instead of doing like odds and ends and stupid shit. I think I'm going the right way. Go by him. I need to get over on that other road. Okay, I can go right up here. Make a left and make another left real quick. I know you can start at night. Yeah, the next video I do, uh, I have two Chevy pickups that I want to test out. We'll see how that one goes. Down here a little ways. The other truck should be around here. I need to go to the right, then left.
Should be up here a little ways. There it is. Now, I'm gonna flip this thing back over. Is the question. I have an idea on how well it's gonna work. We're gonna try it. Flipping over. Let me take it off there and get another angle on it. I wouldn't recommend trying to do this with the tilt bed down. <laughs> Always put the tilt bed back up. wheels we use this 300 points to fix this truck oh, actually it's only 15% damaged yeah whatever so stop the engine change truck now we got this truck backing up and going Serious. Yeah, there ain't no way I'm getting that one out of there. It's underneath the damn bridge. <laughs> okay then. Let's take you back to the garage then. See, that ain't gonna work. Let's take all this stuff off here. Take them off. Off. Take that off. This one. 
Stones und Let's see medium long trailer Let's get a log card oh. Let's get a log card and medium log trailer Wow, it's sunk it in the ground pretty good. Uh, let's see if we can actually deliver the log with this truck. See if it would even be even a, a logical truck to even use if you're playing in multiplayer with mods. Logs are loaded up. Why am I moving? Oh, shit. Still have the windshield. Oops. Where do we gotta go for the objective? Okay, there's actually four objectives. Hmm. Now I say let's come out of here and go left or right down past that fuel and see if we can't sneak over onto the other road through that little woods there and see if we can't come up to this objective up here. I mean, for doing this stuff, the truck seems alright. It actually has some weight on the ass end of it. With that cab protection and the wheels up top, like the front cab was moving quite a bit. That's one reason why it rolled over. I had a feeling it was going to do that. What are you stuck on? Hmm. 
I'm actually I'm trying to make it a little bit hard for it to see if it can actually handle it. I know what some of the most of the stock trucks can handle and what they can handle. I mean the one test I did when me and a bunch of buddies were doing the stock maps on hard for it. I had the one Kraz loaded with the long logs. And I had that truck buried so much that one of my buddies were behind me pushing while the other one was winching and my truck would literally not move at all let's see if I can sneak up through here can't see and I'm hitting a tree Hit. Oh, really a stump? How the hell did you come from? Alright, where's this? I see the road right there. Let's get an angle up this way here. Another thing too, if you just like the videos where I talk like I've been talking, or like some of the drift videos I've done, I pretty much just uh, did my little intro thing and then put it right to the, the video of the car and pretty much let the car do the talking for it. Uh, if you like them more, let me know in the comments. But yeah, uh, yeah just stuff like that. Like, what kind of mods would like to see with the test. Um, if it's on the Ubi forms or spintires.nl. I'll download it and try it. But if it's not on those two websites, I won't. Uh, I won't download it, and I won't take files from nobody unless I know that person. I think on one of these roads there, oh, is this the one that's pretty deep or just, no, this ain't the one that's pretty deep, it's just how that hole was. There is a hole on this map on one of these rock, one of the trails. That it is deep. And, uh, the one video I did, I had, did one on the Dodge pickup. And I found it with that truck. It pretty much almost swallowed the whole truck. quite decently I mean if I was playing multiplayer I mean I think I'd actually use this truck on multiplayer as I say that I bury it almost
I will also put in the description down below a uh, link to Fruit Terror live uh, stream when he streams on Twitch. And I'll also include a link for uh, Spun's YouTube. Um, he does showcases on this map, on maps and vehicles for the game. He's also a modder for the game where we, where the, him and Brute do vehicles and stuff like that. And put them up on the Ubi forms and uh, spintires.nl. So I'll include those in the description too, also. Oh, uh -huh, a rickety ass bridge. Deliver the logs. Oh, this ought to be interesting. There ain't no way around it either because it looks like it's pretty deep water. Oh, 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 oh. No! Damn it. Whoa, what, why is the water doing that? Oh, okay, I see what it's doing now. Yeah, the water is actually... Actually current in the water right now, and it's actually getting up against the truck and everything. Yeah, that... That's a sketchy ass bridge. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna call it a quits for the video. If you want to see another video like this, or if you happen to find anything on like the Ubi forms or spintires.nl. Uh, be sure to let me know or post a link in the comments below. I'll go and check it out. And if it's a good one, definitely can make it happen. But uh, when they say thanks for stopping by, thanks for watching the video, and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Talk to you later, guys. Have a good one.